morning guys it's your girl Rhonda Samia and I am back with another video if you guys are new to my channel my name is Rhonda Samia I'm a sergeant in the army I've been in for seven years I'm currently stationed in Fort Bragg North Carolina and yes by the title of this video you guys know that it's going to be my re-enlistment video it's my first video of 2021 and I would say I'm gonna get better at making videos and I don't so I'm like what why not make this my first video of 2021 me and Bree enlisting in the army for three more years i know i always talk smack like i'm not re-enlisting f that f that i'm not doing it but i always seem to do it <laughs> so yeah today i am re-enlisting for three years and i'm not doing like a big ceremony or anything honestly i didn't tell anybody i was re-enlisting i didn't invite anybody this is gonna be me my officer that's swearing me in and my retention NCO that's going to be there. Um, I really didn't feel the need to have a big ceremony because this is like my third or fourth re-enlistment. And yeah, so like I said, I've been in for seven years. And after this re-enlistment, it'll be 10 years that I will have been in the army, which is freaking absurd to me because I honestly did not ever see myself doing this long in the military. I came in the military to get my degree, which I got, and to like get my finances together, which is pretty much together, to buy a house, I did that. So literally all the goals that I've wanted to achieve while in the army, I am happy to say that I did. So now it's just about saving and maintaining so that if I do decide to get out, I'll be good without the army, um, which I still don't know if i want to stay in for 20 years but it's like by the time i get to 10 years it's like oh girl you might as well do 20 years so again we will see i don't know what i want to do with my life <laughs> so i'm still debating if i want to go officer um and do green to gold or if i want to try to be a retention nco or if i want to try to be a warrant officer for warrant i'm not sure if i could do that because you have to be in the mos for five years and you have to have all these different positions under you. And since I um, re-enlisted, you know, to be a 42 Alpha as a sergeant, I haven't had the opportunity to do a lot of the positions yet. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to accomplish that in the time frame. So yeah, we'll just see. Um, this is gonna be a short, sweet video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, watch, comment, and of course, subscribe. I'm on the road to 3K. So haven't got to my 3K yet. So I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all better subscribe and stop playing. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you. Thank you to everybody. Like I said, that sends me messages, um, comments, shares, and all that. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, I always tell you, I have so much in store for you guys. I just need to get my life together and actually record. But again, um... I'll see y'all in the next vlog. <laughs> Grab your stuff as you can. You, you already yeah, recorded? Sure you did. Okay. Um, so, um, as an officer, we have to open up what you will <laughs> going into it. So, we don't run right into it. But, um, again, um, we're here today to um, conduct a re-enlistment uh, for Sergeant Tavia, with, to whom I call Sergeant T. <laughs> um, so, first, I want to thank you um, for asking me to conduct your re-enlistment because that means a lot. Um, not only that, let's officially welcome you to the AG tour, uh, tracking that for the past seven years you've been at 88 Mike. Um, so now should be realistic for three more years uh, as a 42 Alpha, so that's a big step. Um, and with the re-enlistment, it shows commitment that you want to continue to grow professionally, uh, physically, emotionally, um, and your career. So again, re-enlistment is huge. And not only that, only that you're an NCO, so you, all, you know, already know about leading soldiers. And that's something that you're saying, hey, I want to sign up for three more years to continue to lead soldiers. Uh, a lot of people don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, so I'm starting to speak for that. Uh, but it's a huge thing that you're really listening for three more years. And uh, we just want to say that we appreciate that. And uh, I look forward to serving with you. And I know you told me to keep my speech short. So, um, again, if there's no issues or concerns, if you're good, we'll go right into it. All right. Attention, you. All right, state your name. I am Rhonda Savar. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And I will bear true faith. And I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. I 
obey the order of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the order. And the order. Of the officers appointed over me. Of the officers appointed over me. In accordance with regulations. In accordance with regulations. And a uniform code of military justice. And a uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. All right, congratulations. He got us there, Steve. Hello. We get a photo. Here's to another three years. Oh, that's all I have. <laughs>